Perhaps the deepest position group on the Chiefs defense right now is at the safety position, which had a great offseason highlighted by the addition of Tyron Matthew in free agency, then bringing in former Virginia standout Juan Thornhill, and we also saw the return of last year's fourth round pick, Armani Watts, who is returning from a season-ending injury suffered early last season, right as he was finding a role in the defense. Also not forgetting to mention that both Daniel Sorensen, who is the most tenured defensive back on the Chiefs roster and an established NFL player and special team standout, is joined alongside Jordan Lucas, who came on strong last season as well and had one interception in return that we all remember. And Jordan Lucas with the interception and a 51-yard return. And that's five safeties with solid experience or upside, which is exactly why the safety group is one to watch at training camp. And one of the major storylines of not just this group, but of the entire team, is how quickly Matthew, affectionately known in football circles as the Honey Badger, has earned a leadership position on this team. He's kind of fun to be around. I mean, he, he's business. Um, he, he shares that with the guys around him. He has those instincts that uh, you can't teach that part. So he, he's, uh, and that's what he's had throughout. He had it in college and he's had it in the NFL. Um, he works hard every snap, uh, and that's infectious. All that part, that, that's uh, that, that, that along with Frank being Frank, you know, and going 100 miles an hour every snap. I mean, it's uh, that, that kind of stuff uh, is contagious. Now, Matthew's playmaking ability and leadership should have an impact on Thornhill, who comes to the Chiefs after grabbing 13 career interceptions during his time at the University of Virginia and he often found himself right around the ball during these off-season workouts, including an interception in one of his first practices during rookie minicamp, although he did miss a little time with an injury. And Watts is an intriguing player to follow because he came into last season with a lot of hype, and he backed it up with some phenomenal plays in the preseason, and then one ridiculous play against the Jaguars in the end zone, which is actually the play where he suffered the injury that cost him the season. But now he's back and a guy to get re-excited about as he finds himself in the mix in a group that'll be tasked with preserving leads paired alongside the league's most explosive offense.